pretty sure that yesterday when the propeller was bent it was because I slid the boat back and it hit the bottom so I'm digging a channel To get it out there and do a test, I need to connect the motor to something because it was attached to this pipe, you know, through this thing, but that centers it on the pipe, which I'm not doing anymore. So I think I just need to attach it down to the thing that I have down here that's holding it up. Huh. Yeah, that's good enough for now. I think it's funny. This is the replacement for the fancy brass thing I turned on the lathe. All right, let's see what we got here. So that's uh, maybe two thirds power to the motor. Half to two thirds. We're going fast enough that the pedals are moving. That's a good sign. Let's crank up the thing a little. Still a little vibration, but a lot less. Definitely going faster than before. I still need to tweak the propeller. Alright, I better steer before I hit something. I only have two hands, the one's on the camera. <laughs> and it looks like the pedals are going slow enough that I can actually pedal and have it do something. So I left those high enough gear to be helpful even with the motor on, which was the plan. that uh, speed controller because when I turn this all the way up it cuts out. I think it's just uh, cutting out from uh, the high amperage setting. Probably. Voltage looks good. Man, that's not bad. So this speed right here is just on the solar panels. Just on three of the solar panels. So I'm actually charging, about, charging the batteries right now while going. So I can do this all day and charge batteries. That is not bad. Oh man, now it's starting to come together. That was such a better test than the first one or the whatever the last one was. Fourth one, eighth one, I don't know. What is this mess? Eh, the breadfruit tree will be happy about it. That'll all go over there. Give him a bit more land. I do not want to take that into the salt water. Alright, as long as I rinse it off, this should be fine. Oh, do not drop the screw. No dropping the screw. Or the screwdriver. It comes off pretty easy. Alright, Jamie, keep in mind if you cut off too much, you're gonna have to make whole new blades. So don't go crazy. Okay, that's kind of a lot cut off there. I think it's not too much though. All 
All right, got my propeller back on there. Let's do the three solar panel test. Wow, that actually feels better. And there are a few clouds. I'm not even getting direct sun. Oh, noticeable improvement. Oh, I love that. Noticeable improvement is the best. All right, let me get the batteries on this. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, noticeable acceleration improvement. I am still getting a rattle though. Not nearly as bad as before. But uh, I am gonna have to mount that motor. Man, this is so much faster than before. Get my feet in there. Oh, check it out! That's hilarious! <laughs> that actually explains a few things. That explains why the rattle got worse again. So maybe I don't need to do anything <laughs> major to fix that. Uh, the other thing is, that means this is pushing hard enough to bend one of those. That's... I mean, bummer that it bent the propeller, but awesome that it's got that much strength. And a lot of that I was running with two propeller blades and I was still getting pretty good speed oh this is excellent I just need to what all right I'll hold on I'll be right there oh this is awesome so that means that I was getting pretty pretty good speed even with a compromised propeller and I'm fairly certain I know when it happened it was when I switched from uh, just running on the solar panels to the batteries because there was a there was an increase in speed but not as much as I was thinking it would be and that was because when I got the higher power, the propeller blade just... <laughs> but uh, I was still going faster. Oh, man. All right. So to fix this, um, it's two, two basic options. I can, I can fold this more this way so it's harder to bend that way and make sure I get the, that curvature all the way down to there. That means the blades off to fold back a little bit. The other thing I is I can use thicker sheet metal. I used really thin on this just because I had a piece of it around and I should just put some thicker stuff. But make them the exact same shape as these because these seem like they were doing really well. That seemed like a really good size for that setup. A good thing about this kind of propeller is it's not that hard to change the blades. It's more of a pain in the butt. I just have to take this screw out, punch out all the stuff in the middle, then these will come out, make new ones of these that are thicker, and make the geometry a little little better, a little curvier. Put those back in, stuff all the stuff back in the middle, and uh, Bob's your mom or whatever. I think I might just try that again with the current blades. I bent them more that way. They're significantly harder to bend backwards now. I will probably want to replace these with thicker sheet at some point, though. <sighs> All right. Definitely stronger now. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right, dude. Let's give it a shot.